Today we are checking out the new FC24 update, we are playing Euro 2024, we're going to see if it's any good, I do remember the days when EA used to make a full on game, but unfortunately those days are over, let's see if this is any. So you start off by selecting your favourite team, and I guess you have to pick one of the teams that are qualified in the actual tournament, but this is pretty much Euro 2024, you know you get this free update, it's not like the old days where you would get a full on game that had so much more to do. Euro 2008 had qualifying modes, they had so many national teams as well. I believe some sort of online cup as well. And there was also a proper player career mode as well. They had the story of qualifying, which is like a scenario mode for the qualifying stages, alongside a penalty shootout mode and much more. In FC 24 though, you've got modes like the European Journey, where you can earn rewards by completing challenges within the Euro 2024 experience. We looked at this yesterday, you can claim rewards for Ultimate Team, and also manager career and player career. So yeah, if you do this one, if you win the 2024 Euros by playing every match, you get a five-star coach available for hire in manager career mode. So I guess that is useful for some people. If you create a pro in Lead Your Nation, you get a virtual pro customization item in player career. You might even get more than one. There's some ultimate team stuff as well. And then there's another player career one. So if you play in the final with your created pro in Lead Your Nation, you'll get player personality points in player career. And then there's also another ultimate team one. If you win a kickoff final against the CPU AI on semi-pro or higher, you get virtual pro customization items in clubs and Volta. And once you complete all the journey there, you get an ultimate team reward which is going to be revealed in July. So I guess this is pretty neat. I know a lot of you guys would do the manager career one, get that five star coach. This is Euro 2024 tournament mode. You can do a new tournament which will feature all the qualified nations. I assume that all these uh, kits are licensed here. Actually, there is Austria that has generic kits. You can see on the right there. France does have the licensed kit, so you don't have to worry about that. Switzerland does have generic kits as well. If we take a look at custom tournament, this is where you can start mixing and matching and replacing teams. So let's say you're not happy with Italy being in the group of death. You can put them in another group, maybe something like this. You can swap them out with uh, Turkey, and you can do that as many times as you want as well. Now, you can also randomize by pressing R3 and that'll just randomize the whole group stages. You can also replace teams by pressing triangle. We've got Albania here, let's try and replace them. And now we can choose from unqualified nations, as you can see. You might be a little bit disappointed by the lack of European nations here. So basically you've got your news section where you can read some of the Euro news as you go along in the tournament. Player stats, you can check the top scorers and team stats are there as well. The tables, of course, you can check those. You can take a look and manage your squad as well. You can do team sheets there. So you can edit the appearance of the players in the game. You can change the boots and all that. Overall, this is basically a standard experience. If we go to the match day, it just basically loads up the game for you. There's another mode called called lead your nation, captain your country as an authentic player or create your own and lead your favorite national team against the best European teams on a journey to become champions of Euro 2024. So you can do a custom tournament and a new tournament through this mode as well. And you have to create a new player or you can play as a real player. We've got Will Gardner here. This is your player mode, I guess. And you can control the team through this mode as well. There is a training session you can do and you can obtain up to seven play styles for your player. Let me know if you're going to be playing this player career thing. Now we've got kickoff mode, which is obviously kickoff. You know, you can play a final, semi-final or group stage match and you can play with the qualified nations and also some of the unqualified nations. Now this kickoff mode also features features the 95 overall secret mode. So if you keep pressing the triangle button, it will go to life form off. But if you press it again, it turns on 95 overall mode. So each nation is going to have a 95 overall. That could be useful for some people out there that want to try this. I saw another complaint with this DLC, and that is the fact that EA didn't include the actual walkouts in this DLC on next-gen consoles. If you play on a PS4 or an older Xbox, you'll actually see the full-on presentation, the lineups presentation as well. It looks really nice. But then you play on next-gen, and then what do you get? This one-minute cutscene, which doesn't really make you excited to play the game. You could have an option which let us turn it on or off, but they didn't even give us that option. I like what the Chef Curry said on Twitter. Why did y'all remove player's entrance? There's no energy on this game. I can't even feel this is Euro 2024. That's exactly how I feel. Now, because EAFC does have German stadiums and because this tournament is in Germany, we've got nine authentic stadiums here, which is nice. Remember that World Cup DLC? It only had like two. The only one missing here is, of course, the Bayern Munich Allianz Arena. And of course, we also get the official match day ball in this DLC as well. The next mode is online friendly, so you can play authentic matchups from Euro 2024 against friends online. And then there's also the customized section where you can adjust some of the settings. You can take a look at the soundtrack, team sheets, gameplay settings, and favorite team. Now, when the tournament starts, there's going to be a match of the day section that you can play within kickoff mode. All right, here we go. From the Olympia Stadion in Berlin. England versus France should be a good game. And uh, of course, the presentation looks nice. You know, you've got the officially licensed uh, broadcast package. The stadium also has the official branding going across it. 
and around it. And the ad boards are all official. You've got official sponsors there as well. So it does look the part. It looks very nice, of course. Let me know if you're going to play this DLC. Let me know if you're happy with what EA brought out. In the next couple of weeks, I will be playing through a lot of the Euro games that came out over the course of history. So that's going to be a lot of fun as well to compare. I remember the old days where you would get like the full-on game and that would have so much more to do. You would have so many more nations around Europe. You would also get modes like uh, the scenarios mode or a challenge mode. And it also had the qualifying mode where you would start in the qualifying stages and work your way to the finals. Those games were so much better than what we get now. But of course, this is free. Here's Trippier. Floats it across and Saka could be there. The ref calls for a handball. I think it was handball. Oh yeah, he just kept his left hand there. I can't believe EA is still trying to teach me how to do penalty kicks in this game. Mate, I've been playing this game since it came out nine months ago or something. I think I know what I'm doing now. There you go. I will do the tournament mode at least once or twice with different countries. But I feel like once you've done the tournament mode, there's not really much else to do. I guess you can complete those little challenges that unlock certain things in other modes. But yeah, it's just a free DLC, you know. It's, it's nice to have. But it could have been so much better as well. But it is an offline thing. EA really doesn't care about offline anymore. But yeah, I just don't think this is going to keep people excited for a whole month. I think this will be something where you play one or two tournaments. You might try and complete those objectives. And then you're done with it, you know. Mbappe. New Real Madrid player, of course. And he does so well there. The moment he just took the ball, I knew he was going to score. Goes over the top. Here's Harry Kane. The lob balls, man. They're so dodgy. But Harry Kane's done well. Let's see what we can do here. Kane, they sort of backed off him, and somehow he misses. Big chance there. Saka collects the ball. Here's Harry Kane. He plays it to Trippier. That's a nice ball up the field to Foden, who can turn and shoot. Foden with the shot, and he hits both posts. Wow. And it stays out as well. I've never actually done that before. Hit both posts. Here's Mbappe for on goal. No, he lays it back, and Griezmann scores in injury time with 10 seconds left. And that's pretty much game over now. It's good to see that the 90th minute scripting is still in this game. Not many manager faces from what I've seen at the moment. I thought there was going to be a few new manager faces, but I haven't seen any of that. So there's only 10 seconds left. It's game over. Yep, ref blows for full time right after France score. And let's see if we get a decent trophy celebration. We can see some of the French fans celebrating. Players running onto the field. I guess it's pretty much the same celebration from career mode and from all the other old... FIFA games, you know, there's nothing new here that's going to make it more interesting, you know, there's no medals, it's the same thing, you see the first 11 celebrating with each other, for some reason the subs stand on the side there, we see the players walking up to that podium there, and the captain gets to lift the trophy, at least we've got the official trophy there, but yeah, it's the same thing you've seen a thousand times if you play career mode, I feel like they could have done something different, something better, like when are we going to see players getting medals in this cutscene, but I don't know what I expected, it is a free mode, and I'm just used to the glory days where EA would make a full-on game. Those days are way over. If you want to know all the details about this new FC24 update, click the thumbnail in the middle. It'll take you straight to that video.